Let's review the M4250 series AV user interface. The AV line was engineered for your AV over IP installations. We are going to consider two different use cases today. The first one is the single switch installation. And then a second use case will add a switch for a multi-switch typical installation. For the single switch, this is going to be simple. We just want to have three different groups for AV control first in a dedicated VLAN, then video over IP with encode decode units in another VLAN for video, and then audio over IP for those uh, Dante, for instance, dongles from Audinate. And uh, for these VLANs, we want to enable the DHCP function so that each single node in each VLAN get a dynamic IP address directly out of the switch. Ready? Okay, let's fire up the AV user interface, connecting to the first switch IP address, adding the column 8080 to make sure we are reaching the AV user interface, not the legacy main GUI. Let's log in. The welcome page shows uh, some information for your AV job. Onto the switch, we have the reboot button if uh, we need to reboot this switch. And this is where, for instance, you will uh, be able to select the right fan mode, right? For fanless operation, for instance, or quiet installation. Let's go to the point for our three different groups. Let's go to the network profiles. Let's start with the AV control group. We are going to select a uh, profile in that list called data. That will be good. And uh, let's select the four first ports, give it a name, AV control. The VLAN ID that we want is the VLAN 10. And let's select a color, green. All right. Now toggle the IP settings. We want to enable layer three on that VLAN so that we have routable VLANs on the switch for unicast inter VLAN communication. We can assign an IP address. Let's say that we can use the convention uh, 192.168.10 for the VLAN 10. And then that's a class C address. Let's go for the uh, subnet mask. And now that we have enabled IP settings, we can uh, select DHCP server to tell the switch that we want that VLAN get a, a DHCP pool, right? So let's uh, use that VLAN IP layer 3 uh, address as a default router for the devices and why not as a DNS server? Let's save it. So now we have our first group with four green ports for AV control. Next is video. This video profile will be perfect, already pre-configured for you for a typical question, NVXs, but also AMX, uh, Dante, Video, NDI, and uh, uh, most of the video over IP codecs on the market. Let's select the next groups of ports for a video encode decode units. We are going to give it a name. This is going to be my video, my VLAN uh, number. I want it to be the VLAN 20 and uh, I want a blue color. Right. Same, we are toggling the IP settings so that we can assign a static IP address following the same convention. So 20 for the VLAN 20. And that's a class C address on this one. Now we can enable the DHCP server using this IP address over here as a router and a DNS server. So the ports now are configured. They are blue and they are good to go for video over IP. All right, let's select the third group of ports. Now uh, we have several profiles in this UI because all those uh, audio over IP technologies, they use uh, different settings being Dante or QSYS or AES67 or AVB. Uh, so you just need to select the right profile. On this job, uh, we are deploying Dante. So let's select audio Dante. We are going to continue on the switch with uh, uh, the additional ports that we want to uh, reserve for Dante operation. Let's say this is my Dante primary. 
this is my VLAN 30 and uh, the color I want to use is uh, something like orange all right same thing IP settings let's provide a static IP address for the VLAN 30 for that VLAN this is a class C address again now we have access to the DHCP server let's use the VLAN IP address as a router for the devices and save it mission complete now we have our switch correctly configured for AV control green for audio orange and for video blue and uh, we can now right away connect all our equipment all the parameters for DSCP quality of service for uh, IGMP multicasting for PTP everything has been set up and of course you have your DHCP function for each of those VLANs now that our first switch is up and running with control in the VLAN 10, video in VLAN 20, and audio Dante in VLAN 30, we want to expand this installation. For the second use case, let's add a second switch underneath with new video and code decode units and new audio Dante units. Same VLANs, same colors. And we want to plan for 20 gigabit per second interconnect because those new uh, video encode decode units uh, they are going to use 2.5 gig ethernet so for that we are envisioning two 10g links between the switches for ample 20 gig in and out between the two switches are you ready we are connecting to the uh, second switch, AV user interface, reaching out to the switch IP address, and we add Conan 8080. This switch has 12 port multi-gig and two 10 gig fiber uplinks. Let's prepare it first for the uh, groups, for video and for audio. Let's select the video profile and uh, maybe select the six first ports for the video operation. This is my VLAN 20 and uh, I want to use a blue color for consistency across the two switches and we are not going to uh, toggle IP settings because we can remain at layer 2 on that switch. It means that all the communication will come from the first switch for the DHCP server, the devices will get their DHCP addresses, all that, but the inter-VLAN warning will be done uh, on the first switch. Let's save it. We have prepared the ground for video over IP on the first six ports. Now let's go back to the audio Dante profile in order to prepare the six other ports for Dante operation. That's our Dante primary. And uh, of course, we want to uh, uh, stipulate the VLAN 30 and a orange color. Same thing, we can stay at layer two and uh, no need for a, a VLAN IP address on that second switch. All right, now we want to connect that second switch back to the first switch. And for this, we are going to use the 10 gig fiber uplinks. So I am going to first connect one direct attach cable to that port and going to one of the 10 gig ports on the first switch. Let's do it. Done. I have connected a direct attach cable to that fiber 10 gig SFP plus port back to the first switch on that port. Now we have the auto trunk function on this AVUI that will automatically make that port and link as a trunk so that the blue video orange Dante and even the green control VLAN will be carried over on that port. We don't need to configure that trunk. It is completely automatic. But we said that we want a 20 gig connection, right? So let's connect now a second port between this second switch on the port 15 back to the switch, uh, the first switch on the port 30. 
Done. I have connected the uh, second direct attach cable using the port 14, going back to the first switch on the port 30. So the second new function for the 4250 AV line is called auto lag. We don't need to configure the link aggregation between the two switches because as soon as we have a second port, in addition to the auto trunk for the VLAN trunking, the M4250 line is building up the uh, ether channel, the link aggregation, automatically and dynamically. So see, we have now in the link aggregation section this uh, um, uh, channel one. Let's uh, control it. And uh, we can see that the two ports on that switch uh, are forming a lag. And of course, this is a trunk port. Let's go to the uh, first switch. We can see the two ports are connected right there. In the link aggregation, we have the exact same lag, hopefully, on the other side that is configured correctly between the two switches. So now the mission is achieved because we have the two switches together connected with all the VLANs traversing back and forth for green, blue and orange and our AV over IP installation is complete. Well, thanks for watching. For more information on the AV line go to www.netgear.com slash m4250. And of course, if you want to get our help for any design or any AV over IP project, please just reach out to us sending an email at proavdesign at netgear.com. Thank you.